talking about IPv6. Woo! <laughs> 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 All right, IPv6 is the next generation. It's going to be replacing IPv4. Um, it has several new broadcasting methods. Unicast, multicast, and anycast. <laughs> it also contains the option for jumbo grams um, and includes IPsec for security. It has 128 bit addresses, which is going to be about approximately 4 billion addresses. It's a lot of IPs. Um, looks kind of like a MAC address, that's what it looks like there. Has two fires, header and payload. Uh, header is the first 40 octet octets, which includes the source and destination address. All that fun stuff. Okay, since um, it's not going to be the mainstream right away, we're going to have to have some transitions for IPv4 and 6. Um, so some of those are dual stack, which will support both IPv4 and 6. Uh, tunneling, automatic tunneling. <clears throat> and configure tunneling. Okay, the IP security is the biggest um, attraction for IPv6. It's supposed <coughs> to be like incredibly secure. Um, which, by the way, Vista comes with IPv6 by default, uh, but you have to turn that off if you don't want to use it. <coughs> It has four major functions, the security association, authentication, encapsulating, security payload, and key management. Don't yawn. Make me sleep. Uh, security parameter index allows the receiving system to choose the SA the data will be processed under. The IP destination address is only supports unicast and the security protocol identifier um, in the IPv6 packet, the SA is distinctively identified by its destination address. It's also defined by all this criteria here. Sequence number counter, counter overflow, AHESP, path into you. Authentication headers provide connectionless reliability for transmitted data and consists of these fields, next header, payload, length, SPI, sequence packets, authentication data, and reverse, which is reserved for future use. <coughs> Encapsulating security payload supplies data with authentication, com confidentiality, and integrity. So this includes SPI, sequence number, payload data, padding, pad length, next header, and authentication data. Key management governs the distribution of secret keys. IP security supplies two types of key management, it's manual, self-explanatory, and automated, which um, is regulated by the demand of the key. The default auto key is ISA KMP, I always get tongue tied when I say that. Holds packet information to establish, <coughs> negotiate, modify, and delete the SA association. It also defines the payload for exchanging key generation and authentication data. And it includes initiator cookie, responder cookie, next payload, all that other fun stuff. And there's my conclusion. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good thing. There are many benefits to it. It has greater addressing space built in. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to like it because it kind of looks funny and, you know, people are opposed to new things. But um, that's about it. And there's my reference. Okay.